Well, today was the first day that pads could come on during Patriots training camp. Mac Jones might have wanted to wait a few more. All eyes were focused on the quarterback battle at hand, but if you're looking for an answer, you're not gonna get it just yet. Cam Newton threw an interception to end out his morning. Thank you, sir. And one of the main attractions here at Cortland Seafood is the fact that you can not only buy fresh fish, but they'll also fry it for you, which makes for even better business during Lent. What's all this that I'm eating here? Well, this is tabbouleh. Okay. Which it is, to me, it's the bride of salads. For Ooh. all salads. Mm. And this is? This is chicken. Chicken kebab. Chicken kebab, yep. And this is filet? And this is falafel. Okay. His final game in a Providence uniform was in New York City on March 10th in the Big East Tournament. Manhattan. It's a different borough, but Duke Jr. will be in Brooklyn this summer in the Summer League with the Nets. Then comes Jimmy Beheim, who joins Samir Torrance from Marquette and Cole Swider from Villanova, but I'm going to single out Beheim because, Sam, how cool is this in him joining his father? Andre Sisko posted a video doing football workouts his first day back on the gridiron since ACL surgery six months ago. The NFL placed a new rule requiring players to wear different colored wristbands based on vaccination status to training camp camp. This way the Salvation Army won't have to rely on how many people are actually shopping for Christmas in person. Instead, it's as easy as making a donation online and the money still goes to the people in need. Well, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hopefully Santa treated you all well this morning, but if you're a Bills fan, the top thing on your wish list won't be answered until tomorrow afternoon. That's unless Buffalo wants coal in its stocking. It's going to have to stop the run. Two more Orange players stepping through the transfer portal. Woody Newton deciding to take his young game somewhere else. Bills have been waiting a while for this one. 11 days to be exact from last Thursday. And there's a lot on the line for Buffalo against their rivals from Foxborough, Massachusetts. A win would give Buffalo the edge in the division and go a long ways in keeping the Bills in position for the top seed in the AFC and home field advantage in the playoffs. The Knicks began the game on a 21-6 run. Second half, there's Walker and Randall again. Kemba had 12 assists on his way to a triple-double. And Obi Toppin taking off like Santa on Christmas, finishing off the Hawks in style. Knicks are winners. And then in the bottom of the six, David Thompson does his best Jimmy Walker impression with some dynamite. That's my best guy three times. Three times. Yeah, you try to shoot three and one went in. That's Ava Cologne, who cleaned up her teammates' miss in this youth basketball game for her Spencer Port team. Ava has Down syndrome, but that hasn't stopped her from playing her favorite sport especially with her friends. That's my grandma. She is so nice to me. Just to feel the support and love of the team, the coaches, the parents, uh, the girls themselves. Um, it's, it's just a great opportunity for her. Ava works hard for every opportunity on the court. She said she's been playing since she was three. She's 10 now, and she's the perfect example of a student athlete practicing her dribbles before the bus comes and isn't shy with the celebrations, which Ava told me, by the way, she practices beforehand. And it's all paid off because, as Mom explains, Ava's been eager to play for quite a while. And this year, we finally got to play uh, officially on the team. So, and you want to show them your sweater. So, she's a St. John Warrior. And um, so, it was very exciting. It was a long wait. And um, it's, a, it's a beautiful team, a beautiful league. You show them. <laughs> and if you're looking for Ava to brighten your day even more, she has some jokes on hand, too. Maggie, I, I hear my joke. Sure. Knock, knock. Who's there? Home. Who's home? I want, I want to go home. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's a busy schedule for Ava, but unlike the NBA, she's not taking any load management. It's tournament time for them this week, and the season runs until February. For News 10 NBC, I'm Matt Majinski. Red Kettle campaign has been ringing their bells at Christmas time for over 100 years. In Onondaga County, donations go to the nearly 50,000 people who receive help from the Salvation Army.
It funds over 40 programs such as the food pantry in Syracuse. There's days that I come here and I'm so down, but when I leave here, my spirits are lifted. The world is going through a crisis and they're still smiling. That's a blessing from God. The Red Kettle campaign generates the most money for the Salvation Army during November and December. But now they fear COVID will cut their usual income by 50%. Because of uh, people not being out shopping because they want to stay safe and healthy, um, the store hours, they're, they're shorter this year. And then there's going to be fewer people out and about and carrying change in their pocket to go dump into our Red Kettle. The Kettle campaign this year could look a little bit scary. In order to gain money lost, the Red Kettle campaign will also go online this holiday season. We'll have a virtual kettle for people to donate and a kettle fund to raise more money through the phone. This way, the Salvation Army won't have to rely on how many people are actually shopping for Christmas in person. Instead, it's as easy as making a donation online and the money still goes to the people in need. So thanks to the online donations, people like Holmes won't have to worry about where their next meal may come from. They're like superheroes here. You know, the things they do for this the community is just a blessing. Lazara says the Red Kettle campaign will start the first week of November. Online donations can be made at SalvationArmy.com.